And welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX. Alright, so we're fully stocked up. Let's go rescue Diglett. Time for a new dungeon, Mount Steel. Oh, you know what we do? Torchic's actually going to be pretty helpful here, because there are a lot of steel types here. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about sparkling dungeons. Okay, here's the thing. We could go rescue Diglett right away. Or we could just wait a day, do this, and then go rescue them tomorrow. Like, what's Sky Murray going to do? You know what? Let's uh take a quick trip to Tiny Woods. I have a mission here to do anyway, so let's go do it while it's sparkling. But yeah, while it's sparkling, like I said, we're going to get some bonuses out of this. Also, what is my mission here? Uh, we need to... Go to B4 and save Poochie. Yeah, we have to save Poochie in it down there. Okay. For now, let's also make sure we explore the forest completely and grab everything we can. There we go. Sparkling caves are also a good way to get make a bit of money if you really need it. Ooh, give me that treasure box. We want to grab treasure boxes whenever we can and then hopefully not die. Basically, if we can play the dungeon with these in our inventory, we can open them and find some pretty good items. I think we can find TMs in them. Actually, wait. I'm not sure if we can find TMs this early yet. Also, this this dungeon is like three floors look deep. It's not that hard to get everything. Give me a second, I'll rescue in a minute. I just want to grab some money real quick. Uh, we're not going to leave quite yet. Like I said, while we're here, let's just grab as much as we can. I can't find any enemies. They're all just scattered all over the place. Oh, we got another level? Oh, Hank got another level. You know, maybe we should run through the dojo another time, just so that we can catch up on levels. Ooh, eh. Don't want sand attack? What do you know right now? Honestly, hmm. Yeah, no. We're not going to learn sand attack. We can always go to the move relearner if we want to relearn it. Oh, I missed. Whoops. They're fine. Alright, let's get out of here. No, we're not escaping yet. I want to go- Yeah, I want to keep going. We might as well do all the floors. This dungeon is tiny. It's literally going to take like a few minutes. No boxes. Berry. Money. I'm honestly kind of- It's kind of worth it just to do this just for the money alone. The boxes are a nice thing, but I want money more than anything right now. Alright, what do we got here? A bronze dojo ticket. Okay. Maybe we'll use that. Bank orb. Oh, that reminds me. I think it is a good thing we didn't go rescue Diglett. I completely forgot. Let's go grab the scarf out of storage and actually equip it. Because, yeah, all the items you get from rewards are automatically sent to storage. I should probably actually be using some of these rewards we've been getting. One minute. Yeah, 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 we'll rescue Diglin in a second. I need to go stop by storage real quick and grab a couple of items. Also, uh, what do we get here? We got... Alright, Mystery Dungeons. Yeah, I already know that. Don't... Bring too many items or else they'll, you'll lose them all when you die. And make sure you eat. Because if you ever run out of belly, you'll start losing, losing HP. And you can't die from that, so we should probably make sure we don't do that. Anything good here? Gravel rocks? Escape. I can't afford it. Wait, what am I talking about? I can go get some money from the bank. That's always my problem whenever I play these games. I always stick all my money in the bank and then I always forget to actually use it. Let me, uh, let me grab a good chunk of change here. 
Listen, it's safe in the bank, okay? If I just leave it there, there's no chance of me losing it. Alright, let me grab... You know what? Let me grab this. I forgot that we can select multiple items here. Apple, Max Ether. You know what? Give me everything except maybe the Health Orb. I don't want the Health Orb. Okay, now that I'm thinking about it, this is probably why I never have money in these games. Alright, let me do a little bit of inventory management real quick. Nope, Hank, not now. Okay, let's put away what we don't need. We don't need this many apples. We don't need this many max ethers. We definitely don't need this many orange berries. Don't need those. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the orbs on me, and we'll keep a sleep seed on me. Alright, so let's take out what we want. I want the fierce bandana. Ooh. That's a really good held item that we got randomly. Okay, we'll grab that. We will grab... What else do I want? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna grab all my stat items. Screw it. I'm gonna use them on myself. Or on me and Hank. We could save them for, like, future party members, but eh. We're gonna be pretty much the two most important Pokemon throughout the main story. So no point in saving these. We'll always get more of them anyways. So what do we got here? Attack, defense, and special attack. I think the special- oh wait, I can't use these outside of dungeons, right? I forgot, we're not allowed to drink outside of dungeons. Ooh, no. Focus, we need to go rescue Diglett. Let's go rescue Diglett. As much as I want to go back for more chests, no, we need to go do, move on to the story. Dugtro, you do you just want to come along? You uh, you seem to be right behind us at every turn. No, no. All right, so floor nine is our target. Okay, before we do anything else, actually, before we do anything, we should probably take care of this Tyogre, who is, like, right next to us. Okay, before we do anything else, let's do a little bit of inventory management real quick. So, this is going to be given to... Honestly, I needed more. I'm two levels uh, under Hank. So, yeah, every Pokemon can just have one held item. Uh, let's see, attack... Defense and special attack. Okay, special attack goes to me. I'm the psychic, or I'm going to be the psychic type, so I need special attack. What else do we got here? Defense. Honestly, who has lower defense? Me. I'm technically not a starter, so my stats are kind of pretty much always be worse than Hank's. And attack. Honestly, that's probably going to Hank. Yeah, Hank uses more physical attacks than we do. I forget, is Water Gun special? I can never remember. Yeah, it's special, okay. Alright, let's keep moving. I see a giant batch of items in that room over there and I want it. So we're gonna take a quick side trip and uh, go grab them. Who knows, maybe the stairs are over there. Nope, stairs were not here, but I'm gonna grab these anyway. What do we got? We got Sleep Seed, always good. Money and another rock. Okay. Here, one sec, we're being chased by something. Let's try to kill it. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna let those enemies sleep. Sometimes they'll find sleeping enemies in rooms. No real need to take them out. Unless you want the extra experience, which honestly, I. Probably should have grabbed. Alright, now we just need to find the stairs. Where the heck are... Hank, wake me up. We're good. I need to remember that traps are a thing in this game. In the original game, you basically didn't see traps until the post-game. In this one, they add them in almost immediately. Which I kind of prefer. Adds a little bit more challenge to the game. Alright, stairs are over there. There's not very many items on this floor. Screw it. Let's keep moving. 
We don't want to spend too long on any floor because we'll just burn through resources. Ow, that's not what I meant to do. I wanted to switch places with Hank, but I accidentally pushed them away. Hank, where are you going? Hank? Oh, you found a sleep seed. Okay. Also, all these sleep seeds are going to be very helpful against the boss. Oh, wait. N confusion is natural da or, uh, neutral damage to you, isn't it? Because you're part psychic. What do we got here? Cherry berry. Or I'll take that. And I see no more items on this floor, so we're going to keep moving. Man, we're just finding the stairs immediately, aren't we? I mean, I'm okay with this. We do also need to watch our inventory space. Also, I thought there were more steel types in this dungeon. It might be later on, but so far we've been seeing our fighting and rocks, which I am extremely well equipped to take on. I can counter both of those types. And slumber. I'm fine. What do we got here? Nothing. Okay, there's only one more item on the floor. Let's go grab it and get out of here. We are starting to get about halfway through our belly. Might be a good idea to start eating soon. Eh, we'll be fine. I'm not going to eat until we get, like, super low. We might be able to just get through the rest of the dungeon on, like, 51 belly. Also, you know what? Rock time. Ooh. This is pretty good. We might want to stick on this floor for a little while then. Just to, like, get our moves trained up. Plus, we haven't found the stairs anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. There we go. But yeah, we're gonna want to train up our floor mo our moves on this floor while we look for the stairs. Speaking of stairs, where the heck are the stairs? Uh, are they up here, maybe? No, but there are enemies. Ooh, chest, give me that, give me... Got a nice, pretty box. Let's see what's in... Well, we can't see what's inside until we leave. At least in this game, you don't have to pay to open those. They just kind of automatically open at the end of the dungeon. Ah, uh, do I want to stay here any longer? We're about halfway through the dungeon. You know what? As much as I would love to train up my moves, that's what the dojo is for. Also, there's a Geo dude somewhere around here. Oh god, hi there! So how speed buffs in this game work? In the normal game, speed buffs are helpful and, you know, they can they have uses. In Mystery Dungeon, though, what speed moves do is basically they give you tur two turns for every one turn. So they literally double the amount of turns you have. So yeah, we want to be very careful careful whenever an enemy uses a speed move. Otherwise, we might find that uh, they can just double team us and immediately just, or not double team, but like hit us with two super effective moves and immediately kill us. I have had that happen before. Several times, so we should probably be careful. Oh, uh, we're getting hungry, one second. Oh, stairs are right here. But there's also treasure over there I want to grab. It's money. I'll take it. Yeah, ooh. Pink, wake me up. Thank you. Fortunately, we're getting slumber trapped and there are no enemies nearby. Yeah, you know what? Hold on. Let's make sure we don't starve. Fortunately, only your... Uh, oops. Fortunately, only your leader's uh, belly matters. Your party members don't lose hunger for some reason. I guess, like, all the strategizing and reading is what actually burns through the food. 
it's the brain that's taking up all the energy, not the whole fighting for your life thing. Also, water gun is starting to run a bit low on PP. We'll have to be careful. In fact... I'm gonna try avoiding using water gun and try using some of my other moves. Just to, uh, conserve the PP. We do have max ethers, though, so we should be okay. Oh, hi there! Now we're starting to get steel types. Uh, Hank, can you take care of that for me? Thank you. More revi- oh my god. How many- one second, how many reviver seeds do I have now? I have several. Nice. You know what I don't have yet? Stairs. I'm gonna guess they're in one of these central areas. Also, yeah, you know what? As much as I want to save, what is it, PP on Water Gun, they're kind of super useful against all the rock-type enemies around here. And I think it's our only super effective move against all the rock-type enemies around here. Because, uh, since we have Torchic as a- Oh, wait, no, wait, no, never mind. Torchic has low kick. I completely forgot about that. Also, I see a bunch of items over there I want. Hello there! Have some confusion. Hmm. Also, another th thing about uh, gravel rocks. It literally does not matter how they're oriented. It will just seek out the closest enemy you're facing in the general direction of. So you can do some really sick, like, trick throws with them. They also ignore walls somehow. I don't know how, they just kind of do. I have no good moves against you. Uh oh. There goes Ember. It's fine, we're almost done here. Just gonna grab these items and go. Skymere, you're a flying type. Earthquake doesn't affect you. Listen, earthquakes aren't that bad. Like I said, you're a flying type on top of a mountain. I think you'll be okay. Or not. Well, time for our first boss battle. Alright, so first things first, I always tend to try to regroup with the party whenever uh, we get separated. Alright, so Sky Murray is actually pretty tough because it's a flying steel type and it's the first boss in the game. We do have a fire type in the term in uh, the form of Torchic, but there's another strategy we can use. We have like three sleep seeds. I'm just gonna start throwing these at it. And we're basically gonna sleep hack it to death. This tends to work on a lot of bosses, by the way. This is why, like, items are super important. They can very much cheese, like, difficult boss encounters. For example, have another sleep seed on me. Also, wait one second. What did that log say? Let's check something real quick. Uh, how do I look at the log again? Oh wait, I think it's over here, isn't it? Message log. Oh right, I forgot. In this game, they nerfed that strategy. Basically, bosses stay asleep for less time. In the original game, you could literally cheese almost every boss with sleep. Alright, that's fine, though. Here, I have one more sleep seed. Alright, just stay asleep while we just, like, start... Oh, we won. I also had a blast seed if I really needed it. Yeah, <laughs> stupid metal chicken.
Oh, yeah. Despite the fact that we're both birds, neither of us can fly. In fact, now that I think about it, even fully evolved, neither of us can fly. Well, Dingle has been rescued. And we beat up Sky Murray. Nice. Uh, Brown's Dojo ticket. I'll take that. Yeah, you know what? I might consider using that on myself. Probably wouldn't be a terrible idea to get myself another couple of levels. Wait. Pretty sure this was the game that does, in fact, confirm, yes, Diglett do have feet. That's all we know. They have feet. We never see them. Yes, we know who you are, Doug Trio. You don't have to introduce yourself every single time. Good job today. Got Max Ether, Heal Seed, and 800 Pokey. Not bad. That is true. We could probably use someone who can fly. Also, having an Electric Type wouldn't hurt. Actually, you know what? An Electric Type would actually help out quite a bit, huh? We don't really have a good counter to Water types right now. You know what? We'll ask them to help out. Oh. Uh... I mean, we're right next to town. I'm pretty sure they probably have, like, some empty houses there you could use. Or not. Hmm. That might be a problem. Unfortunately, no one will room with us, so we need to find places to live for other Pokemon. Because, yeah, if we want them to be team members, they gotta be able to stay nearby. I don't know, Hank, do you have any other, like, spare houses that you just have for some reason? Oh, okay. Apparently Wigglytuff is over there. For our first, like, real... I guess it's more like our second real mission, huh? Still, pretty good job, all things considered. Hmm... I wonder what Pokémon that is. It's a lot more obvious in this version, obviously. Considering the models are a lot more detailed. Well, that was a weird dream. Alright, back to work. Sure has nothing to do with the fact that we were once human or anything. That's a good question. Mm. Not really sure at the moment. I guess we don't really remember anything about being human. Maybe our human life sucked. And honestly, if, like, these were just, like, 
kind of fun and nothing bad happened. Being a Pokemon in a Pokemon world might be fun. I'm sure this won't escalate at any point. Alright, anyways, we're off to get some camp corner or off to the camp corner. Actually, can we just go home real quick? No, we can't go home yet. Alright, we need to do this before we do anything else. I was gonna go back and see if I could save, but we'll do that later. Hey, Wiggly Tough! Huh. So there is, like, a governing organization that, like, governs all rescue teams. But yeah, we need to build camps if we want to recruit Pokemon. Ooh, three camps. Alright, so we got the Wild Plains, Stump Forest, and Scoob... Uh, Sky Blue Plains. Got it. But yeah, basically how Pokemon recruitment works in this game, you need to own the camp where they live. And then after that, if you find them in dungeons and defeat them, sometimes they might join you. It's kind of RNG, so... Honestly, I usually don't go out of my way to recruit anything during the main story. But yeah, if a Pokemon joins us, I'll gladly take them on. I keep forgetting I named my team that. There we go. Well, we got ourselves our first new team member. Only one, though. Both of them don't join. Welcome to the team, Magnemite. Oh, I haven't thought of a nickname for you. You know what? I'm not sure if we can later, but I think we can nickname them later. So if I think of one. And yeah, in this version, we can basically edit our team whenever we want before we go into a dungeon. In the original, you had to go find them in the camp to get them, in, uh, get them into the party. Alright, so now that we have a bit of downtime, never mind. Do they, do they have a name? But nope, we uh, just got three super powerful Gen 1 and 2 Pokemon in that team. Actually, you know what? Oh, right. I always forget that Alakazam has an IQ of 5,000. You know, that's totally accurate, right? Can IQs even be applied to, like, non-human... I guess it doesn't matter in the Pokémon world. Well, at least they're, like, nice to less fortunate Pokémon. Oh, 
Also, I forgot their only gold rank. But okay, actually, you know what? Just think about it, we could be like them. I'm a psychic type, you're a fire type. All we need to find is either a dark type or a rock type, and then we'll pretty much have a similar team composition. Huh. Alright, so let's get back to work. Now that we have all of our camps and teams set up, uh, taken care of. Oh, one second, got mail. But yeah, I think Alkazam's team also shows up around town now. Maybe we can go, uh, talk to them. You know what, maybe we can get them to join our team. Probably not, but that would be kind of hilarious if they did. Great. We got advertisements already. Oh, gummies, nice. But yeah, if we feed our party members gummies while they're at camp, we can uh, power them up and give them rare qualities. But I think we'll do that next time. You know what, screw we're already here. Let's go see Magnemite. Also, yes, I have no idea or I have no idea how we can afford all of this real estate, but you know what? It's fine. Hi, Magnemite. So, yeah, we can change our nickname anytime, so maybe I'll, if I can figure out a good nickname for them, I'll change it. But we could feed them gummies here. So what gummies do is it A uh, was it increases their stats? But more importantly, we could give them rare qualities by giving them gummies. Hold on. Actually, you know what? Can I feed myself a gummy? I can. Here, I'm gonna have my gummy myself. Five more HP, not bad. Oh, here we go. What'd I get? I got... Squad Up. What does Squad Up do again? Ooh. Actually, I think that might be something only the leader can get. So basically, squad up. The more people we have on our team, the more likely that uh, other Pokemon will be recruited by us. Okay, we'll keep that on for now. If we want to change that, we'll have to eat more gummies. Alright, Hank, let's see if we can get you a rare quality. More speed, and... Move X... Ooh. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. So now we can get more uh, move experience whenever we use them. Unfortunately, uh, what is it? Magnemite didn't get a rare quality, but that's fine. We'll get more gummies eventually. Okay. Goodbye. No, we can't say goodbye. I don't think we can dismiss Magnemite. They're a story-based character. Alright. But with that, I think we'll wrap things up here then. So, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX, we're gonna do some more side missions. In fact, one second... How many more points until we reach the next rank? 400. Okay, it's gonna take a little while before we reach bronze rank. That's fine. So, till then.